Right oh, Telio de Champs, and here we have two awesome laptops, and I'm going to tell you today why this ZenBook Pro 14 OLED is better than the MacBook Pro 14 Wolf. Yeah, nah, this thing here is one of the best laptops going around the MacBook Pro 14, I've got to tell you right now, if not the best. And I've actually sold my MacBook Pro 16, that video will be coming out soon. Why did I sell my MacBook Pro 16? Was it to get this MacBook Pro 14? Well, nah, not really. This could be someone else's, and I'll tell you what I replaced my MacBook Pro 16 with in another video, but, you know, stay tuned for that one here. But I'm going to tell you this thing here, this ZenBook, why it's better than this. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying this is an overall better laptop than this, is actually, why, why not? I'll do a shootout between these two laptops, but I'm going to definitely tell you the things that are better on this. Now, this display here, the MacBook Pro display, is one of the best displays you're going to get, especially for viewing HDR content, very color accurate. I mean, HDR content really does blow your retinas out. Like, it's really awesome for that. And I've gone on record on saying this, this is one of the best displays you can get out there. But it does have some drawbacks, some issues compared to, say, this because this is an OLED display, okay? So they're both 14 inch displays, 16 by 10 wide color gamuts. They're both cracking displays, but this is OLED, this is mini LED. Now this is 120 hertz, this is 90 hertz. Now you're thinking 120 hertz, this is gonna be better, right? Much smoother. And you'll be thinking that, right? No, wrong. This is Ghost City. Now this is the best for viewing HDR content, but when it comes to, you know, smoothness, it's a very ghosty display. So when you move stuff fast, it ghosts, even though it is 120 hertz. Now this is 90 hertz, but this does not ghost at all. There's no ghosting on this display because it's OLED. The pixel response is super fast. Now, if you're gonna say pixel response, 90 hertz versus 120 hertz on this, is this has gotta be better, but pixel response is just as important as refresh rate, like even more so maybe, because this pixel response is around 23 milliseconds, okay? That's how fast the pixels refresh. Fresh. This is 0 0.2, 0 0.2. This is 230 times faster than that display in pixel response. Just let that sink in. 230 times faster with OLED. Also with OLED, you don't get as much blue light. You get deeper, richer blacks, higher contrast. And because this Mac has slow pixel response, you can see the ghost in like, even when it's running 120 Hertz, it doesn't really matter you will see ghosting because the pixels are not refreshing quick enough and that's where you get the ghosting because you know refresh rate and pixel response work hand in hand for the smoothest sharpest picture when stuff is moving so pro tip here with this with these macs i don't see a point of having them 120 hertz considering it ghosts when it moves like when stuff moves so i put it i lock them to 60 hertz you will see here with the side by side ufo test that you can see the oled on the left of the zen book is much sharper with that top ufo than the macbook at 120 hertz it's very clear maybe you can't see it at 24 frames per second but i can definitely see it slow motion whatever i can see it with my own eyes it is a much sharper image and yes the mac kills it for hdr right it just does but the reality is these macs are locked in sd mode to 500 nits and if i was going to say just normal use you know in the desktop using it in sd mode because the oled has more contrast you know, sharper text, it just looks more contrasty and pleasing than this in SD mode. HDR, another story, but in SD mode, and even like looking at web pages, it actually amazed me the difference between these two. You can see there the Mac on the right, at full brightness, it doesn't look nowhere near as bright as the ZenBook, even though the ZenBook it doesn't get as bright as the Mac, even in SD mode, it only gets to around 380 nits peak brightness. So long story short, I think in the SD environment, this, certainly has attributes on this display that are better than this you know non-ghosting super contrast super crisp uh less blue light so my your eyes don't get it sore I, I find this with the variable refresh rate 120 hertz my eyes get sore with this i use these glasses all the time blue blocking glasses it's not blue that's making my eyes sore it's the variable refresh rate because the refresh rate's going up and down you know it's making my eyes fatigued so i lock it at 60 hertz never have that problem i don't get fatigued with my eyes with these Macs now. Yeah, in the SD environment, you know, this does look better and 
HDR, when you whack on HDR, yeah, these Macs are just wild. I'll just blow your retinas. But I can see, you know, stuff like even the icons at the bottom here, they just look more contrasty with OLED. It's just when you see OLED next to an LED display, now this is mini LED, it's still OLED just has more contrast. Another reason why this is better, and uh, the old girlfriend complains about this all the time with her Mac, and she always complains about this, is this can lie flat. And yeah, she always complains she can't push the screen back enough with her Mac. Uh, so yeah, that's very handy. This is actually lighter than this as well. So yeah, these aren't really comparable because this is more a professional one. This is more an Ultrabook. It doesn't have a real GPU. You can get the ZenBook 14 Pro with OLED, which is basically this with a GPU in it. And that's more comparable. But the other thing that is better with this laptop is it has Thunderbolt 4. So what does that mean? EGPU. So that means this can have an RTX 4090 in it. And so that means you can connect the 4090 to this. You can have it for content creation. We know how good those are with content creation stuff, Blender 3D, even you know Premiere Pro and all that sort of stuff. You've got a 4090 connected to this and Wolf, that's the only way to fly. Sadly, you can't do the old eGPUs with the Macs anymore, but um, as long as you stay within the scope of what these are optimized, these are still killer for uh, content creation. But yeah, you can whack an eGPU in this, and that means gaming too, right? A big plus of this is whack an eGPU on here, you can play any AAA title, no problems, OLED, 90 hertz wolf man that is the way to go right and actually you can even play with you know the integrated graphics if you wanted to as well but to be fair the integrated graphics aren't that good you can play AAA titles you can play more AAA titles on this still even with the integrated graphics just because it's a windows machine so there three things there why this is better than this i mean i love the macbook pro 14 16 whatever or m2 or whatever but there's three things why you know, this laptop here, this ZenBook. Three reasons why it is better than the MacBook Pro. So anyway, catch you in the next one, guys. OLED for the win there. Tally-ho.